Premiere, Match Frame, and Reveal in Project are two great functions that can cut down your edit time by a lot. In this video, I'm going to show you what the difference is between them and how to use them. Three, two, one. Hi and welcome or welcome back to DIY Film with Merle Becker, the channel where I help you make better videos. As always, stick around to the end of the video for a bonus tip. All right, so let's fire up Premiere and dive right in. I'm in Adobe Premiere version 22.1.2, so if yours is older or newer, yours might look slightly different. So when you're editing, quickly locating your media within your project is a big time saver. For example, say I have a clip in my timeline and I'd like to modify it in the Effect Controls tab. In this case, I would quickly use Premiere's Match Frame function to load that clip into the Source tab and adjust it accordingly. And the way you do this is to use the default keyboard shortcut F. Select the clip, hit F, and boom, it's loaded into the Source Monitor. Now let's move on to Reveal in Project. When would you use Reveal in Project? Well, I just used the heck out of it in my last project for a client that needed a series of clips strung together sequentially. So I needed to keep going back to the same bin that housed my clip and select the next clip in the series to put it in the sequence. Like this. I have a medium long shot of four people playing chess. Ha, because doesn't everyone sit around in a group and watch two people playing chess, am I right? Anyhow, I want to start with the medium long shot here and then put the close up after it. I have the long shot here in my sequence, and I know that the close-up is in the same bin, and I want to quickly jump to that bin, which is what I'd use Reveal in Project for. Now, there are two ways of bringing up Reveal in Project. The first and more clunky way of doing this is to right-click on the clip, or Control-click on a Mac, Shift F10 on a PC. Find it in the menu and select it, and then you see it's highlighted in the Project tab here. Now I can click on other clips in the same bin. Or the second way to access Reveal in Project is to set a keyboard shortcut. So you can hit one key and boom, you're in the bin. To set a keyboard shortcut for Reveal in Project, go to the Premiere Pro menu and scroll down to Keyboard Shortcuts. Then go to the search field and type in Reveal in Project. Now when you type in the word Reveal, a few different reveals will pop up. Make sure you're selecting the one that says Reveal in Project under the Source Monitor or Timeline panel. Now to the right of it, type in the letter you'd like to use. I'm using the letter Z, which is by default being used for Zoom, but I never use Zoom. And I like all my keyboard shortcuts to be near one another, and the Z happens to be in the right area. So I'll type Z here, you type your letter. If your letter is already being used by another shortcut, it will give you an error message and the option to overwrite it then hit OK. And now when I'm in my sequence and I need to quickly find the bin where that clip resides, I can select the clip, hit Z, and in my project tab that clip will be highlighted, bringing me quickly to its bin. So let's recap. Match Frame loads the clip into the Source tab. Reveal in Project highlights the clip in the Project tab. Match Frame Keyboard Shortcut F. Reveal in Project, set your keyboard shortcut to whatever you want it to be. All right, that's it. Let's do the tip. As mentioned, when I'm creating keyboard shortcuts, I try to put them all in one area on my keyboard. This obviously makes it easier to remember where they are. So for example, the shortcuts that I use most often are lock all video tracks, lock all audio tracks, playback in full screen, rate stretch tool, match frame, mark clip, and your new favorite, reveal in project. All right there on the left side of my keyboard. So group your shortcuts in one area and never go hunting for them again. All right, as always, if you found any of this helpful, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell so you know when the next one is posted, and I will catch you next time.